Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you. All right, now listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 500 likes, all right? That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, and hopefully you can appreciate that 9 a.m., and at 4 p.m. upload every single day, you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna revisit the two-way Playmaker build that I made. Um, there's so many benefits of changing it up, what we just did, what I'm doing with this build. For one, it's gonna be getting contact dunks, and it's gonna be taller, okay? So, the original two-way Playmaker I made, it was the red and yellow pie chart. So we're gonna continue with that same method. Um, I went pure speed with the last time, but this time I'm going with the well balance because red and yellow is so athletic. You do not have to worry about getting just pure speed because you're still gonna be really fast by using this pie chart. Then what we're gonna do here is go 80 on the close shot. We're gonna go 84 on the driving layup, 77 on a driving dunk, and then 32 on the standing dunk for eight, okay? Then we're gonna max out the top three, and then we're gonna go 41 to get us eight also here. Then we're gonna max out everything here. And then we're gonna go 40 right here to give you 21. Then we're gonna max out the perimeter, the ladder quickness is steals, the defensive rebound, and the block, all right? So one thing that you're gonna see the big difference is when it comes between these two is is that this build right here is gonna have eight, eight, 21, and 20. Whereas my two-way Original two-way had seven, eight, 19, and 20. So not only is this gonna have a better badge lineup, again, like I said, it will get contact dunks because with the two-way playmaker back when I made it, I didn't keep it tall, I didn't make it tall. It was just only 6'3". Now we're gonna make this thing 6'6". Six, six. So now you do wanna go burly because we're all gonna lower the weight. We wanna go up to 6'6". Six, six. You wanna drop that weight all the way down to 180, that 180, and then you wanna get your wingspan and max it all the way out to 87. So now you can see the contact dunks at the top. All right so now let's just talk about a few things here right you will get a plus eight to your physicals so that 87 will be a 95 all right now and then your acceleration will be a 93 and then your vert will be an 89 how do you get there you get 99 overall you get a plus four and then to get the other plus four you either need to get gym rat in my career or hit superstar two or just go to the Gatorade facility, do well on the workout equipment, and you get a plus four that way. But regardless, you get eight total, depending on how you wanna go about it. So that's how you get those physicals up by eight. Then on your finishing, shooting, playmaking, defensive rebounding, you'll get a plus four also. So now let's look at it. So your close shot will be an 88, your driving layup will be an 85, and your driving dunk will be an 85. That 85, now as you can see, you will be able to get not only the pro contact um, dunks, but you also will be able to get the elite contact dunk packages, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. To be able to have both dunk packages on this build is really, really toxic. The previous build, like I said, only had a 77 driving dunk, right? So again, because it was short. But as you know, if you make yourself taller, even though you might lose in other areas, you're gonna gain when you go ahead and um, your height. Obviously, the shooting on this build, as you're gonna see, is a 66 and your, your mid-range shot is a 74. So a 74 and a 66 in shooting, you're gonna be a liability on shooting. It just is what it is. Now this build should not be something you should be going out there trying to just shoot um, crazy with. I will not recommend that. I recommend you ISO with the build and just try to get to the basket, get contact dunks and dish in it, okay? That's a really, really good way to play this build. Also, as you see here, the pass accuracy is an 88 and then you will see that your ball handling is an 84. Um, when it comes to the defense, you're gonna have an 89 perimeter and lateral quickness, a 92 steal. You also have an 84 block, and I'm sorry, 84 defensive rebound and a 64 block. So again, 
an extraordinarily really really rare build to see a two-way playmaker as you can see this is basically a two-way slashing playmaker it's just that the close shot just needs to be an 85 if you move that close shot to an 85 it's a two-way slashing playmaker so why not have a rare build and be called a two-way playmaker perform like a two-way slashing playmaker but just have the rare build name all right now when it comes here you have some choices you have lock take you have um, playmaking, you have slashing. I will not worry about shot creating. So you can go between these three. The playmaking, the only thing that's down about playmaking is just that there is no like benefit other than the, like if there was animations that would drop you enough, then it makes sense or, or at least, you know, get you to stumble, but it's just not that prevalent. So unfortunately, playmaking takeover, it's just not that important, right? Now, slashing takeover obviously is gonna be the best OP takeover to have. It gives you a plus 10 to the most categories, gives you plus 10 to your vert, plus 10 to your stint, um, your strength, plus 10 to your speed, plus 10 to your ball handle, and a plus 10 to all your driving um, layup, your driving dunk, your close shot, that type of deal. It's extremely OP. It's the most OP takeover because it gives you the most plus 10 to your category. So I would say go with the slash and takeover, right? And here you have my nephews and nieces, you have the two-way play maker okay so now let's do this let's go ahead and test this build out real quick let's get 99 and of course we will then get you out of here all right so let's get him right here um all right so what we're gonna do here is go contact finisher um we also should go some slithery and then i will probably go um consistent and then acrobat all right that might be the best bet i would go with here all right and then for the shooting Hot Zone Hunter, Range Extender, and that last to go Green Machine. Um, also, like I said, this is ISO build, so this is what you'll go with. But you can also get away It just going like trying to get catch and shoot, maybe stand in the corner. Now, you can be a spot up. If you want to be a spot up, maybe catch and shoot. Don't worry about Range Extender. Maybe get some flexible release in here or something like that. Like, there's ways to work around it if you're not going to be um, a primary ball handler trying to ISO with this build. Um, so you can keep that in mind also is whatever you prefer, all right? And then for the playmaking, obviously we want to go handles for days, quick first step. Uh, we want to go on pluckable, bail out, let's get ankle breaker. Let's get space crater. That leaves us with two left over. Um, if that two left over, man, let's just go all out. Let's go something like this. Let's go like that. All right. I would say get diamond. Man, I guess you could. I mean, if you want to get diamond, we can do that. Or if you want to go here and maybe go here you can do that and then of course if you want to get dimer or floor general you can do that so I, you can do it either way like i said it's your build you can do it any way you want to i'm just trying to give you some ideas obviously clamps intimidator pick dodger pick pocket rim protector boom boom this is probably the best bet something like this all right this is what i would go with but there you have it, my nephews and nieces this is the revisited version of the two-way playmaker it now has contact dunks Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite O-Head Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on the banger, man. You know, when I said back soon on the banger, you already know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm if you come for a low, we gon' get to him. Take the stop off the top of no transformer. I'm in my ducking and dodging on the corner. Doing flip with a beat like a mighty morpher. Tell my set to get rich and go ahead.